So I'm up here in Hamas, same little valley I came with my uh, husky last week. <clears throat> I'm camping this time with my son who's taking a nap in the tent. We just had lunch. But it's not it's not bad. Great week to come camping. Father's Day's on Sunday. Today's Wednesday. So I almost came by myself. I was gonna bring the husky and do more exploring, but I decided I'd rather spend the time with my son. And uh, this bicycle I have is more of an urban bike. It's got very weak forks or weak suspension in the forks. Bottoms out really easily. And I'm really out of shape. <laughs> This is all uphill. You don't even notice that this is uphill when you're on a motorcycle. We were in a prolonged drought in New Mexico and all the rains we got just in this spring have brought us out of it. Sometimes I think I should have taken up mountain biking instead of motorcycling. It's cheaper, less maintenance. And it would get me in better shape. But the single track stuff in some ways would be a lot harder. In some ways it's easier, but uh, the uphill stuff, it is uh, way, way harder. I stopped at the ranger office on the way up today to let him know about all the downed trees on that single track off of FR 144. He said that, uh, that I was right, that it w wouldn't be much of a high priority, but he would let the person know who was in charge of that. So, hopefully they'll take care of it. But he also said that was only two miles of trail, which makes me think for sure this single track up here is not considered part of it because we're definitely more than two miles out. He said that uh, there will never be any additional single track up here because of uh, it's a critical area <laughs> for endangered species and he mentioned a salamander and I just had to bite my tongue because there's so much damn land up here and to think it's all off limits to single track because of a salamander. <laughs> as if, as if every area we could make a single track would uh, cross paths with this salamander. Here's where I saw the elk last time I was here. Oh, my forks suck. So going up that way, you connect to that single track, but there's a big, huge log in the way. The more I think of it, the more I think I should have went that other way. This looks like a trail. That's 
weird. That's weird, man. Oh, freaking branches. Well, that's my bike. It's a Diamondback City 2. Wildwood City. It has a little seat post suspension in the front forks. If I could put stiffer springs in the front, I might be able to get by. But right now they're way too undersprung. Looks like an old trail right here. It's really sad. that they let all these go. I mean, to think that the effort was expended to make these And you can see it. There, there it is. What an old trail this must be. But you can clearly see that was a trail. And look, there's a piece of wood, I mean a piece of metal. See, how'd this get here? There's something kind of sad about seeing a trail go, go back to wild. I know for a lot of people it's cause for rejoicing. But for me it means no more access. But that was the trail at one time. You can just see, somebody made this. And I think this was a connector right here. So there, there was three trails that went up this valley. And now I'm seeing this one here in front of me become like the one behind me. Because they're starting to be fallen trees and they're not going to do a thing to remove them out of the path.
bottomed out. Back to camp. Man, this bike sucks. I wonder how much it would cost me to upgrade these front forks. Hi, did you sleep? Yeah. You did? I got up to the door. Were you asleep though? Did you take a nap? Well, I didn't actually fall asleep. I was listening. Oh. Well, you can get out if you want. I went really far up there. It was all uphill. I'm tired. I'm ready to do something easier, like shooting. I'm <laughs> putting I want it with the fire. I want it next to the fire before we shoot. Well, we don't want to burn all our wood before it gets dark.